so I guess we're done with his side of the story until we do her side. So essentially, I forget even what we're doing here with her. I have to remember, hold on. Alright, so we were finding a knife. We get right there. At the town. Where would I? Me. Ah, why not? Okay. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> For me? Split it with you? Deal. Oh, he had the knife the whole time, the motherfucker. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? No, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. All right. Yeah, it was Sauron. <laughs> no, what I like about these games, the the problem is they are kind of confusing. You don't really know what you're doing, and sometimes you have to Google it. I feel like if you don't know, um, the real challenge I think is somewhere. to do it all without doing any of that. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we? fought the monster instead of feeding it. That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <sighs> oh, where is that darn knife? You mean this knife? All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Majestic to behold. Oh, inspiring. Powerful. Mysterious. But Mog Chothra is more than that. Merciful and generous. Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. Welcome to the new what the heck? feast. Look at those outfits. Show him what you're made of, Bella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. I make myself the center of any room I'm in. Center of mass, maybe. No more ugliness, girls. Mog Chopra responds to beauty above all else. Sorry, the beauty's nothing without a little heat. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. It's so weird that they're like willing to just go die. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. These girls they have must it all be millennials. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna trade something for a bite of that drum? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. 
Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. <laughs> Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. What the fuck is this? This is Broken Age. Hey, Though does that you play you two different horns, characters. The first character is like in space, and then this is the other character. But they're made character. out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me! Sheesh. Something for a bite of that drumstick? What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat dainty when we finish in school. I'm warning you, mother! I want you alive if you come near my food again! How about the slimming corset? I wouldn't want to hide my best assets from Mock Chatra. He'll be looking for a full size meal after <laughs> his long trip. We're looking for a full size man. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Keep it. Thanks. I don't need it where I'm going. Oh shit. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? What do you got? How about something bubbly to wash it down? Well, thanks. Don't mind if I... Ah! Look at me! I'm soaked! Oh, God. Okay. Quick! Quick! Help me put myself back together! Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? I thought she dropped the drumstick. What do you got? I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? 
Sacrificial thing that they do to save the village. They, I don't know, set out the virgins and sacrifice them and shit. Look at her, she's like a badass. Thing about these adventure games, they are really weird. Like, they have these weird locations like this. But for some reason, it won't work in other games, whereas it works here. Dad, look! Jesse brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. Ew. <laughs> that was so gross. Hey, lady. That's what I felt like he was uh, gonna do. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Earl. Walter? Walt Earl. With an apostrophe? We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chit. His name's Chit. I'd bang her to save her life. <laughs> of course you would, Rolla. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Who's Jesse? That big blue oliver you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of oh, they are sacrificing virgins. Yeah, out. that is true. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Preener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty, and it wouldn't be the first time that old Shh, fell. son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Who speaks, cause leaks.
it's cold. How is it in Colorado right now? Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus I mean, it's in the 40s here, so it's got to be cold up there. Cold. He is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a surprise it's for Mom's birthday. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat. And then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. Sorry, hold <laughs> on. So one of my friends. Oh, one of my friends that they were watching. And they asked if I could hear them or not. And I was like, uh, no. Thirty-one. Can you guys help me? I need to get bad. back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here. And float a while. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mog Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! <clears throat> Brother Lightbeard. You pulled a shard of glass out of your foot today. Dang, Good dude. luck topping You're right. that one. <laughs> Smell mound. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mob Chathra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mob Chathra. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes, it's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. I need to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. They're really like He's into very uh, picky <clears throat> man. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Really into uh like sacrificing. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um follow the stink? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume! No, son. Try again. Jeez, um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig! No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> look at the look at Jesse up here, like planning and doing. I know someone took my egg. Right, so let's talk to this lady, I guess. Thanks. Careful. Ah. 
I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> Well, hopefully, did you like patch it up and clean it up? The knife wound that you have going on there? Or the, not knife, glass wound? So, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No, Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son? Uh, what do they do this time? I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. <clears throat> I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are since I lost my knife. I put peroxide on it, but that's all I think I can do. Yeah. Harmony. Harmony Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study <clears throat> Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager, off with her head in the clouds somewhere. You know what I mean. It's funny because uh, they actually have their head in the you clouds. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? You can't Sorry, make hats without a, a knife? Drop. Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. area pounds per square inch skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks only when i'm feeling sad uh -huh. why don't you use your teeth shoes made of teeth that's creepy well i'll let you get back to your work ah, my work <clears throat> You're glad I'm, are you, I streamed on the day. Oh, excuse me, hold on. I'm still trying to recover from a cold I had for this weekend. Yeah, I'm glad I streamed too. I was going to stream uh, yesterday and the day before, but I got really, or I had been really sick. And I'm still trying to recover. Want to give me a lift? No? Thank you everyone for tuning in and watching my Let's Plays. If you're enjoying this, make sure you like the video and also subscribe and click that bell icon. It will help the channel out. Also, if you have any recommendations for any other games for me to play while I'm live or games for me to review, please leave a comment below and just let me know what you'd like for me to look into. If you'd like to contact me outside of YouTube, Below in the comments, I'll leave my Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and Discord information so that way you can reach me outside of the videos. This is the Still Grizzly thanking you once again for watching my videos.